Welcome to another video for the engineer and I hope you all are doing good. So you must have heard a news about the Accenture layoffs. Okay, so I'm going to talk about that, my take on Accenture and their layoff processor and also I'll give you some of the facts which will clarify your concerns. Okay, so Accenture in a global way, right, is for the Wikipedia source. You can see Accenture is 7.730k employees across you know, across the world. So the reason is because Accenture has hired a lot of people because they have a lot of cloud migration projects, transformation projects, and along with that, they have also very good in their consulting domain and they are excellent company to work for. Okay. So now coming to the layoffs. So layoff is not a big deal for the companies like Accenture or for IBM or for TCS or TCS never does it though, but for other companies like Infosys and other companies, they have a huge workforce because when you have huge workforce, so it's not necessarily that, you know, like you are going to understand that, you know, it is their layoff processor. It's not a layoff. It's kind of, so suppose every organization, when they're having a huge workforce of 738K, you can understand there will be some downsizing, of course. So I got a news on Accenture that on 2020 this is the you can see this is the latest report on the accenture layoffs okay as per the time as per the india times so almost 20000 people they are going to be update i mean they are going to be fired so when i calculate 19000 people so 19000 people is mainly 2% of the total workforce so when i say that 2.2% of workforce those are the bottom line employees i mean the employees who are not upskilled the employees who have not done perform well and the employees who have just joined the organization without the and they cannot uh, you know like upgrade their skill set whatever is required in the organization but in terms of accenture yes i have a lot of people a lot of friends in accenture they are working there they have a lot of hate projects they have a lot of rise and other inform other projects they have and they're excellent in migration projects and they have a bigger contracts and of course accenture is a very good company to work with so Accenture, the layoff in Accenture is not a new thing. Even you see the 2020 report during the COVID days, you know, the Economic Times published the report that is on the, you know, Accenture to lay off 25,000 employees. And a lot of my friends got uh, laid, laid off and they just, uh, now they have just joined some other organization like Villa Soft or some. They joined the organization because as a consultant, if you have the skills, so you can easily join. But during the COVID time, why they lay off? Because unprecedented, you know like you can say the growth in the hiring process they hired a lot of people and they just put everyone in there because they had a lot of work to do once the work is completed then they are finding their suitability for the project specific and that causes the layoff but nothing to worry on this so if you are somebody who is performing well who knows how to get the things done who knows what is the skills that required to survive and you are somebody who is upgrading your skills all the time so you don't need to worry at all on the layoff side so point number two is will the basis consultant be impacted so as per my information what i have you can say there is no impact to the basis folks and the hana consultants and the people who are in the migration because accenture has a huge migration projects they are the major revenues coming from the cloud transformation so you can understand their dependency on the consultants unless and until you don't have the idea or you are somebody who is not upskilling yourself you are just somebody just logging in logging off and just doing the normal work then it's a matter of concern otherwise if you're somebody at least you have 30 to 40 percent reliability in the project dependency you have built on so build on then it is easy to sustain you are not going to be laid off so don't be panic guys just uh, this is a normal downsizing process for every organization because accenture is a huge workforce and in terms of the work environment yes they have a very strict work environment and also very challenging and work environment but you will get to work on a lot of things which will not only just upskill your upskill your talent and also it will give you exposure to the new technologies so so far my take is don't panic just wait for the right time and if you are the bottom performer try switching the job before the layoff starts okay so i hope it is clear for all of you in case you have any further questions uh, concerns or questions on anything you can put in the comment section i will happy to answer all these questions on the accenture layoff okay but don't be in a negative perception for the accenture it's a very good organization to survive and it's a very good organization for the career growth as well so thank you so much guys for watching the video
If you are looking for SAP base fees and HANA training, we training or the we training or the OSDB migration training, which is starting from 24th, uh, 23rd of May. So you can connect with our team, get the information and plan your training accordingly. Okay. So thank you so much.